All right, so storytelling in a nutshell. Try to do this quick. First and second verses. So there's clearly an, an urban twist. Urban, isn't that funny? I don't use the word hip hop. I say rap. Um, I'm old. I'm from a generation where we didn't necessarily identify with the boxes afforded to us. So that's not pro or anti the word hip hop because I understand that it encapsulates such an, an, an enormous ecosystem of creativity and uh, um, artistic expression and media and medium. So personally, because I'm born in Pile of Bones, Saskatchewan and raised all over the place and spent a significant amount of my time as an artist um, in Europe, essentially, because I was kicked out of my own country for being too dope. <clears throat> the elements of storytelling are really driven by Wagner. And that's not the Nazi, that's like the classical uh, composer who created whole new languages, terminologies, and definitions for classical culture and opera, essentially. Um, imagine at the beginning of your art form, someone decides that this is so unique and important. A group of individuals realize, not someone decides, I apologize, retract, pick it, pick it, pick it, rewind selector. And with that understanding, this group of individuals creates a lexicon or, you know, a, a, um, a way of talking, a way of actually seeing and defining specific to this individual genre and the growth uh, that's been identified in the complexities and the technical mastery and the necessity of really understanding everything about music, um, classical music, culture and opera is all-inclusive technically. Uh, so there's a marvel in in that sense. And that, that was something I was always a little bit jealous of because when you talked about hip-hop, they're like, oh yeah, I like De La Soul. <laughs> well, I like common sense. Fucking common. I I don't... Who Who is common? Who the fuck is common? I know who common sense is. Who's common? What? What? What is... Everyone is common. Are we talking like generic? <laughs> 